Well, Jay, this is a, a cracking fish. What are you going to do? I'm going to um, grill it over the coals here. And I've got some poached pumpkin knockies, a pumpkin and ginger burr blanc, and some beautiful sea bananas and some sea spray. Really add a new dimension to the, the dishes we create. Never seen these before, except when I've trod on them up on the sand dunes yeah. and places like that. And equally amazing, here's a filleting technique I never knew. A little trick we have in the restaurant is we just use some scissors and cut away these uh, rib bones here. And there we have it, two beautiful fillets of coral trout. I like to do a little, couple of little diamond shapes. But what are you going to do now? Yeah, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to make a sauce out of the pumpkin. Just like you juice your oranges, really, we're going to juice the pumpkins and use that for the base of the sauce. We need to put the pumpkin juice in this pot. And that's just going to reduce down on the coals over here. It smells pretty good. It's starting to smell pretty nice. Now, this looks good. Bit of outback camping. It is, absolutely is. You put a rack over it, just put the pot on like you would a normal stove. Add a bit of star anise. Wow, you can feel the heat coming off now. I think I'm getting a suntan while I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do now is add the butter. The butter will add a bit of a viscosity. And that's just going to coat our pumpkin knockies beautifully for the basis of this dish. So now we're going to grill the fish. We're ready to cook. So we've got the beautiful coral trout here and we've got the Malulabar king prawns and that's going to go on top of the grill here. You can see the smoke just coming off that wood perfectly. And just uh, a little bit of oil. I opt to put the flesh side down, get a little bit of heat through it first and then see how we go. Wow, that looks great. So the prawns up next? Yeah, so the prawns go on now. Same story. Beautiful. And obviously the prawns probably take a little bit less time than the, the fish will. You can eat prawns raw, so we just try and, I guess, kiss them on the grill a little bit. So you can see the sauce is just beautiful now. It's going to coat the gnocchi beautifully. So it's just as simple. We take the gnocchi, put a few in the pan. We're not trying to get any colour on them. We're just trying to poach them in our sauce. OK, so what we do now is we're going to add some beautiful sauce here. And so is the pumpkin ginger sauce going to be absorbed by the gnocchi? The gnocchi is already full of flavour, but the pumpkin and the ginger are going to soak in. They're like little pillows, little, little sponges of flavour, I guess. All right, beautiful. So now we've got our sea spray here. Now there's everything to do with the sea in your mouth. And then some chives as well. Beautiful, that's coated the gnocchi just perfectly. Time to get the seafood off. Well, that looks That's fantastic. Perfect. And those prawns look great. Yeah, the prawns are beautiful. We are ready to plate up. Yeah, we've got the, the pumpkin gnocchi here. So I think, you know, the visual thick side of food, we want that food to be like, wow. And, you know, then when they put it in their mouth, they can really taste all the work and effort that's gone into it from the fishermen all the way through to the chef. 100%. And uh, I guess that was a great thing to be able to go out on the boat the other day and see where all the seafood comes yeah, from. Yeah, what an experience, Andrew. It was uh, absolutely amazing. There we go. Now it's just glistening, isn't it? A little bit more sauce around there like that. And some of that sea spray over the top. And then prawns as well. Now this is going to be a real seafood treat, I reckon. Coral <laughs> trout, ginger and pumpkin. So there you have it. Look at that. Fantastic. Wood grilled coral trout, Malulabar king prawns, pumpkin and ginger gnocchi. Well done, mate. Jake, you're All a right. champion. That's beautiful.